guys welcome back to my channel again if you're new to my channel my name is marianne i'm also known as aspiring lee and um this time i'm gonna be doing this look on my face um i feel like there was something i had to say but i might have forgot um i want to try and be very consistent with my videos but it gets really really challenging between work and coming home and little stuff of real life in between that so i just want to say that if you are here thank you for supporting every single time that i post a video if you are new to my channel welcome 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 um what else was i gonna say i think that might be it but i hope you guys enjoy this look at the end of the video, I will definitely be dropping a photo to go with this, like always. And, um, like, subscribe, and share. So I'm starting off with my Dare to Create palette. In that chosen, like, plummy shade. Just gonna apply it to my crease like such And I'm just going to keep applying the same color until I get it as defined as I want. Now I'm taking my Morphe 35M Ball Smooth Palette in this naked shade right there to apply it to my brow bone to help blend out the shade at the top so it gives it a more lighter effect as well. And back again with the plum shade to transition that color out. And like I always say, when in doubt, blend it out. So you just blend, blend, blend. You see how having that lighter shade on my brow bone after already applying my shade gave it like a more smoother effect. I don't know if that really made any sense, but to me, I felt like it kind of did a little bit of magic there for me. Now I'm just going to take my concealer and cut out into my, my little crease like such and this is my NC 37 if I'm not mistaken NC 30 matte concealer now I'm gonna take my MAC loose pigment I'll put this shade down below because I'm not too sure of it as of right now. But I'm just going to pack that on there. This was like the most coppery-ish color that I had. So I just went with it and I think it actually worked out pretty well. Now I'm taking the darker shade to go in right into my outer corner. And 
now I'm taking it all the way through my crease just slightly enough not to like get too much into my first shade just enough to get my crease a little bit more darker and then again you just gonna have to blend 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 mm. <laughs> I think I made a little wrap there or whatever but that was cute that was cute E for effort He got peep how like how I was going. I'm like, yeah, that looks all right. That's looking all right. Now I'm taking this is physique formula, physical formula, something like that. And it's a basically it's a moisture, it's a primer. You could use it like when you do your makeup or if it's a regular day you don't have makeup. Super hydrating. It has a little pink tint to it, so it leaves you with a nice, nice little glow. I really love this. This was actually gifted to me from my Secret Santa from work this year. The color is really iridescent. It's called Rose All Day something. Something like that. I'm going to try to really put the description in the bottom because I always tell you guys that I will and never get the chance to. Because I try to write it out in my notes before I post it, but then it becomes like Mission Impossible. I'm going to go over that with a little bit of this MAC Prep and Prime just to extra hydrate my face because I'm really, really dry in certain areas and I love extra moisture. I'm going to take my MAC Foundation in, in NC37 and just dot, dot, dot this here and there because for all my foundation, a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Kabuki brush just to blend that all out. Now I'm taking my MAC concealer once again to conceal underneath my eyes, down my nose, my forehead. I usually use a brush to apply it because it's super, super like thick but at the same time it's really really creamy like it's not thick though you can't it's not movable thick but like it's creamy at the same time i actually really really grew like a love for this concealer because in the beginning i was just like no 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 uh it's not catching my eye too much because it's not that great not i don't want to say great but it was a little bit difficult to work with in the beginning now it's a wrap i love this thing Now I'm just going to take this Tipsy Lip Crush and just apply some to my lip in the meantime to get a little bit of moisture. It's so crazy how, how well it matched my like look, so I kind of look a little bit crazy for a little while. But I love this. It, oh, it's, yo, it's so moisturizing to the lips and it smells so amazing, I can almost like eat it. Like I don't understand how it just sits there without me wanting to like lick my lips because it literally smells great.
Now I'm taking my Absolute New York Sculpting Stick. It's a two-in-one. And I usually only use the contouring side. The other side is a concealer, but it might be too light for me. And I only use this on my cheeks. I like a lighter contour on my cheek than I do on the rest of my face, if you guys haven't noticed so far. Because I always set my like cheek contour with the powder on top especially because you know we apply our bronze and blush and you know highlight on our cheeks i always try to stay light with the cream even though i really really love a cream contour Now I'm going to take the Fit Me foundation stick in 355, which is coconut if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just going to use this to contour my nose, my forehead. I'm such a mom with this damn doobie. But I must say, just like makeup, I love the transition when I take it off. Went from mom to badass in like <laughs> 0.5. Now I'm taking my HD Flawless setting powder in the shade Banana from Absolute New York as well. Just to set under my eyes, down my nose, and my forehead. So I usually bake everywhere that I actually concealed. Hmm. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. A, A, bam, A, A. Mm, mm. Bam, yeah, A. All right, go off. <laughs> now I'm going to take my Absolute New York Pro Bronzer and just go ahead and bronze me up. Bronze me up, bronze, bronze me up. Bronze me up, bronze, bronze me up, A. I began a little bit excited watching myself only because I'm like, damn, that looks actually really good. In the moment, it don't really be like, you know, sometimes you got to be like, you got to watch yourself because it's like, mm, it's different views. If you do makeup and you're watching this, if you feel like you agree, comment down below. Look what bronzer do. I, if that's one thing for sure, I'm somebody who loves to be bronze. I'm just going to take my black elf pomade. It's the eyeliner gel. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my waterline. Like such. Now I'm going to take my Mario 
I never really know how to say the last name, but yeah, you know, my setting spray, the usual. Haven't switched up on y'all yet with this one because I love this setting spray. And then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild 3-in-1 mascara. Just going to touch up a little bit and then go ahead and apply it to my lower lash. Yo, if you guys can name all the songs, like all the instrumentals in the background of my of my video, I dare someone to like comment that in my like down below. I really want to see if you guys know all these songs I'll be playing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Hula Benefit bronzer and apply that as well. Bam, bam. Now I'm gonna take my ColourPop Super Shock and Flexitarian. And whoa. Like, honestly, when I put that on my nose, I wasn't even expecting that. But I was trying not to overreact. But it's obviously a bomb-ass highlighter. Yes, it's a highlighter. It's called Super Shock. It's from ColourPop. My shade is Flexitarian. But I do want to go back and get other shades. Because this shit is, like, go off. Now, being that that was a little bit too much on my nose and my lip, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills on the cheeks. Because I really was trying to stay calm. My eyeshadow was really dramatic for me to throw in something so extra, even though I would. We're going to keep it calm. We're going to keep it calm. Now I'm just adding some color to my lower lash line slightly just to make my eyes pop a little bit more because I feel like doing that to underneath your eyes do that. Now I'm taking this LA girl high shine um shea butter gloss which was also gifted to me shout out to sd for this three pack combo in nudes because she knows your girl loves a great nude this actually reminds me of my morphe um lip gloss so i'm actually really really excited because i almost feel like i have two of them now it's like <laughs> win for win Look at that. It's like perfect. I just love it. And it gives like good gloss shine. Like not too much, but not too little bit. It's amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.